Hey everyone, it's Jeff from here from Passpoint One Comics. Before I go any further, um, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification buttons so um, you'll be notified once I do my videos. You'll be first to see them. <laughs> um, as always, I want to thank whomever watches my videos. If you're watching them for the first time, I appreciate it. If you are one of my regular viewers, whomever, I mean, it always means a lot to me whomever watches my videos. With that being said, I have a, uh, a special CGC unboxing. It's special to me because it's an actual commission. That means I got an, I found an artist and um, I'll mention her name in a couple seconds. I really like her work. She's done actually three commissions for me uh, previously and I'm gonna show them to you first. And she, this one I wasn't exactly a commission. She was just had like a, um, she was selling them. So it wasn't a commission that I, that I signed up for and I happened to get this one. So it is a commission, but it wasn't specifically for me, but I liked it so much, I wanted it. The artist's name is Colette Turner. I just found her artwork on Facebook or Instagram. You know, I just put in artists, you know, comic book artists or illustrations and her, um, pictures of her previous drawings came up and she also does uh, comic books also um it came up and um i really liked her artwork and i started looking at them i, I googled her name after that and i found all the drawings that she has done previously so i got in touch with her and i told her i was interested in getting some commissions done by her she referred me to jb who handles the actual commissions um, you go through him to set them up basically uh, both of them were on Instagram. I communicated with JB what I wanted. I was put on a waiting list. Um, you know, these artists are busy. You know, they just can't draw, hey, I want something, okay, I'll do it right away. <laughs> so there's a waiting list and sometimes you have to wait a while um, for your name to come up. So I told them what I wanted. Well, I told them I was interested. And uh, one, once my name came up, he contacted me. And then I told them I actually wanted three commissions done and hopefully they could do them. Um, they could. So the process was that um, I, I sent her blank covers and um, then, you know, she would get them and then she would start working on the commissions. And uh, this is the first time I ever sent um, some books to another country. Uh, she doesn't live in the United States. <laughs> so I was like, gosh, I hope they get there. And they did it. Everything was fine, you know, but I was, since I had never done it before, I was like, gosh, you know, when are they going to get there? But are they going to be in okay shape? Everything went fine. So once she got them, I told her which three characters I wanted. And it took me a while to um, decide which characters because I chose Marvel characters, but anybody who collects comic books knows there's so many of them. So I kept on changing my mind. I want this one, no, I want that one. So I said, okay, just, make, just pick three. So I picked three and I told JB which ones I wanted. And you know, he communicated with Colette. And after they were done with the comic books, um, she could have sent them back to me, but I wanted to get them CGC and uh, there's specific paperwork that has to be filled out. I got in touch with CGC and told them, you know, this is what I want to happen. And he said, yeah, as long as everything is followed, um, it should be fine and it was. So after she was done with these three, she forwarded them to CGC and then they encapsulated them. So everybody got that? Good. <laughs> so the first one, is um, Psylocke from the X-Men. And like I said, I sent her these books. Uh, let me get my little stand here. Hopefully you'll see it without the glare. And if you don't, I'll, I'll put the pictures up here too. So these were um, signed and sketched by Colette Turner on April of uh, 2019. So about almost two years ago. I hope this stand works. Hang on here. Here we go. Here's the first one. So Psylocke is one of my favorite characters, and um, I just basically, you know, told her I want Psylocke. I didn't tell her how to draw her. Um, one thing I did tell her, like, um, she has like this, um, her hand always has like that. Um, she has some kind of powers, telekinesis, I believe, and I wanted it to like show some sparkles or something coming out of her hands which she added to it. And that's the only thing I told her to do, basically. And everything else was up to her. So that's the first one. Uh, next one is uh, from The Amazing Spider-Man. It's, it's Black Cat. 
if you follow uh, Amazing Spider-Man, um, you know, it's one of the main characters, well, not the main character, but it's a reoccurring character on his comic book. And she's holding a diamond on her hand because she's uh, a, a thief, basically. You know, she steals like high priced items. And this was uh, April of 2019. And I got one of those uh, special um, CGC covers with Spider-Man on the actual label here. My last one is my favorite of the three that I ordered originally from her. It's from, it's another X-Men book, but it's uh, Savage Land Rogue. Um, like I said, that's, I told her that's all I wanted, you know, and um, she basically did the rest, obviously. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do anything except for pay her. <laughs> Yeah, this is my favorite one. If I can get it in here. Sometimes the uh, thickness of these cases is thicker than other ones. I'm not sure why CGC does that, so it's a little bit harder to put them in this, uh, where I, when I show them to people. And these are just CGCs, the comic books are fine. Okay, so this is the Rogue one. It's Savage Land Rogue, I believe the original time she came out like this was from a Jim Lee X-Men back in the 90s. But it's very popular. I told her I wanted this one and this is the one I got. So for the actual, uh, for my new one, um, it wasn't an actual commission per se. I mean, it was a commission, but it wasn't for me. She was on Instagram and Facebook and she's saying, hey, I'm doing these drawings. If anybody wants them, they're gonna be, I'm gonna put them up for raffle. Um, basically what happened or you know, they just pick somebody you say you want this one and a lot of other people said they wanted it too I'm sure but they pick one person Okay, and, and they don't just choose one person. I believe they go through a it's a random and then just pick somebody up You know, they just didn't pick me because I wanted it obviously So here it is. Um, it came in today. I'm gonna do an unboxing for you right now. So bear with me a couple seconds here um, It's another X-Men character <laughs> so there were other ones too, I forgot which ones that were, that was just doing that one day. And I wanted this other one, uh, but somebody else got it. So, you know, first come first, you know, you choose which one you want. There was more than one available. And they chose this one, they chose a one character. I ain't forget what it was now, but um, the second one up, um, it was then I got the second choice and I picked this character. And again, um, I got in touch with JB and I told him, hey, can you send it to CGC for me? So he sent it to CGC, and of course I have to pay CGC for doing the encapsulation. Actually, this came in yesterday, but I was watching uh, football, and I didn't hear the delivery guy from FedEx come by, so they dropped it off today. This is a really nice cover. You know, I was like, oh my God. You know, I can't believe I got this one. So this is, uh, it's another um, X-Men character. It's an X-Factor character. And I got the uh, special uh, label on there with the X-Men on the label. And it's a 9.8, which is great. So um, here we go. It's Polaris, Polaris uh, from the X-Men. Let me see if this fits better here. Hang on for a second. There we go. I don't know why, but some cases uh, from CGC are thicker than other ones. And sometimes they fit good with my little base here, but sometimes they don't. Um, so this is the one, this is one of them. I think there was like four or five of them. I don't remember exactly how many there were, but she says, hey, this one's going up for sale and the other ones are going up for sale. Um, I was fortunate enough to get this one. So this was an unplanned commission, so to speak but it's an awesome looking cover. So I just seen it when she was, I seen it on Facebook and on Instagram I was going, gosh, I think I want this. <laughs> so um, I happened to win it and I went through the whole process. They sent it to um, CGC again and I was the, um, I got it. So, you know, it was done and um, yeah. And um, actually she's, I think she's doing some more this weekend. So I'm gonna try to get some other ones from her. <laughs> so um, once again, I wanna give much thanks to Colette Turner and uh, to JB who facilitated all this, you know, I really, really like commissions, 
you know, these are unique to me. I mean, they're one of a kind. And there's so many comic books that come out nowadays where there's variants and everybody wants them, you know, and they're basically, they're a variant or they're the same, they're the same cover. But this one to me is unique. It's one of a kind. So, um, I'm going to do some more videos this week. I got some more comic books coming in. So I'll be doing my usual videos, um, showing you them. No commissions, but I do have one CGC that came in. This is Ephraim from Passport One Comics. Thank you again for watching my videos and everybody take care.